As we get closer to the total solar eclipse that will cross North America in April, KCAL meteorologist Marina Jurica is taking the next three weeks to dive deep into the sun's energy. We're all kind of nerdy in this way. We I can get excited it. about this one. This week in What on Earth, she's breaking down how solar energy works and its place in providing cleaner future for us all. Ever wonder what powers the world's most abundant source of energy? Enter solar energy, the radiant light and heat from the sun harnessed by humanity for centuries. Solar panels made up of photovoltaic cells capture sunlight and convert it into electricity through a process called the photovoltaic effect. Now these cells are typically made from silicon, a semiconductor material. When sunlight strikes a PV cell, it excites those electrons, causing them to flow and generating an electric current. This direct current electricity produced by the solar panels is then converted into alternating current electricity by an inverter, which makes it compatible with our power grids and gives us light. Another method known as concentrating solar power uses mirrors or lenses to focus sunlight onto a receiver, heating a fluid to produce steam, which drives turbines to generate electricity. Now these solar farms can provide consistent power even when the sun isn't shining, thanks to advanced storage technologies like molten salt or battery systems. But solar energy isn't just about generating electricity. It's also a game changer for sustainability. Switching to solar reduces our reliance on fossil fuels, cutting down harmful emissions and combating climate change. Here's a cool fact. Did you know that in just one hour, the sun provides enough energy to power the entire planet for a year? And it's not just about big projects. Solar energy empowers communities, bringing electricity to remote areas Areas and offering energy independence to homeowners. So while solar energy may seem simple, a beam of light hitting a panel, it's an incredible process that's transforming how we power our world one ray at a time, providing a brighter, cleaner future for generations to come. That's What on Earth for this week.